Hello friends, welcome to automationtalks.com. Uh, this is Prakash Narkadi here and uh, this is video 26 of this Selenium WebDriver tutorial series. Uh, and in this video I will talk about uh, synchronization which is the very important topic in uh, any automation uh, technology. So today I will talk here about synchronization and one of the type of synchronization which is implicit weight. Right now, first, uh, before we process proceed with implicit weight, let us try to understand what is synchronization. Now, let us take an example. Uh, we have your application under test. This is your application under test, uh, which is let us say a web application, some web application. Right, it can be the co concept of some. Co uh, concept of synchronization is common to any type of uh, application and automation tool right but uh, <coughs> here I'm considering your application under test as a web application this is the application which I wanted to test and there is something uh, my automation tool Uh, in this case, I will consider my automation tool as a selenium. Okay, so uh, while, while automating any kind of uh, application, uh, there, there are two things which uh, we are going to interact with. First is your web application, <coughs> sorry, and second with is your automation tool, which is in this case selenium. So, in your web application, uh, various things we do there is something page load right we do load a page then we do <coughs> download right then there are uh, javascript code right which takes a uh, time to load right <coughs> so there are various things in web application which may take time to load or which may load very faster right uh, now you yeah, about your selenium it is a tool it is a tool which is uh, let us say script based right you are writing some code to execute your uh, test cases automation test cases right so it is script based right so <coughs> speed of your tool will be nearly fixed to a uh, speed of your tool will be nearly fixed right so most of the time <coughs> your tool will be uh, running in the uh, running with the same speed right because there is uh, uh, it, it has it has nothing to do with uh, like page load uh, it has nothing to do which will take the time it is script by so it, it will run faster right now but in case of web application that's not the case right we are dealing with web pages and all so in order to sync right so in order to sync the speed of your application under test and your automation tool <coughs> which is selenium we need to use few uh, commands in selenium which is called as synchronization command right so synchronization is nothing but matching the speed of application under test with your automation tool right let us say if your application under test let us say your web application performs very slow like it takes <coughs> time to page load it takes time to download it takes it takes some time right but since your selenium is a tool it will be faster right so it won't take time so since your your uh, uh, applications are interacting with each other right your applications are interacting with each, each other automation tool is interacting with web application it is interacting with this right so both are interacting with <coughs> each other so speed of both should be in sync speed of both should be uh, similar if your uh, web application is performing very slow but your automation tool is performing faster it, it is of no use the test case will fail right because the element requested by selenium tool will not be uh, found since your application is still yet to load that page right um, <coughs> in another case if your web application is too fast and your uh, tool is uh, speed of your tool is slow as compared to your web application your test cases will again fail 
right so here is the concept of synchronization so synchronization is nothing but that is matching the speed of application under test and automation tool so this is what synchronization is it is nothing but <coughs> matching the speed of application under test and automation tool which is called as synchronization right so this is what about synchronization now you can find about synchronization on my blog automationtalks.com selenium tutorial selenium web driver and here you can find it uh, okay here synchronization in selenium web driver so uh, you can find the similar explanation over here <coughs> now the synchronization is of two types implicit weight and explicit weight right so uh, today i will talk about implicit weight now let us uh, talk about uh, okay the first thing is uh, there is something called as thread dot slip to achieve synchronization now let me show you uh, let me open some okay this is one of the uh, class uh, which I have created to check uh, text boxes to click on text boxes right so <coughs> since I have defined a driver right now <coughs> there is one command called as thread dot slip and we can provide some duration in millisecond right so this is something this is something uh, <coughs> which should which we should not prefer uh, because what happened in thread dot slip is it will wait compulsorily for the time which you gave over here right so let us say my uh, my uh, my task is to s click on this drop down and i am waiting for this drop down to display completely right since this is a, a very simple drop down it will display instantly but there are some and uh, drop downs or some search which which takes some time right so i am clicking on this search and <coughs> let us say it will take some time right so if if i know okay it will take only 3 seconds then i will uh, specify okay thread dot slip 3 seconds okay this particular step has to wait for 3 seconds compulsorily but if there is something like my uh, drop down may may display immediately or may display in only 1 second or 2 seconds right then this is unnecessary wait right because even my drop down is displayed within a second within two second there is unnecessary weight of this three second right unnecessary weight of this one or two extra seconds right so uh, that is why we should always not prefer this thread dot slip right in very minor cases we sh we may need to use them right because there, there is no alternative in few cases so we may need to use that but wherever possible we should not prefer this thread dot slip because it will wait compulsorily even if the element has occurred uh, before the time we uh, provided over here right so we should not always prefer thread dot slip so you can find the detailed uh, description over here why should not we always prefer thread dot slip so i have explained it in detail over here right now the next thing is <coughs> what is implicit weight fine so implicit weight again you can find it i uh, have a article over here what is implicit weight so i'll just take you through what is implicit weight now whenever you write a code you define a driver it gives you the ability to manage a timeout right timeout is, is <coughs> timeout is nothing but um, before throwing an exception right before throwing ex when exception will be thrown exception will be thrown a particular element doesn't appear before some time right so uh, th this is related to a timeout right so in timeout there is something called as implicitly wait right so we can find description over here implicit weight specifies the amount of time the driver should wait when searching for element if it doesn't appear immediately right so if i give implicit weight of <coughs> let us say 10 second and time unit as then you can provide time unit based on your uh, requirement second hours millisecond microsecond minutes so i'll give 
10 seconds right so this is how I can define implicit weight now I'll tell you what is the function of this implicit <coughs> weight so um, as I said here application under test and automation tool speed should be in sync which is called a synchronization so let us say um, uh, by using driver what I am doing I am I am I am finding elements right by using driver I am finding elements uh, which I, I want to interact it with right so if my web element web element is nothing but element on your web page right object on your web page if my element web element doesn't occur within a time right if if it if it doesn't occur immediately then i want my test automation script to wait for some time before it throw no such element exception right if element doesn't found then it will show it it will throw no such element exception right so but I, I i don't want to uh, throw this no such element exception um i i want to wait for few seconds and if even after waiting for let us say 10 seconds if my element doesn't appear on the screen then it will show no such element exception right so this <coughs> implicit weight will be applied to life of the driver so I, I i define driver over here and i do close the driver at the end that is driver dot quit command driver dot close command right so this uh, implicit weight will be applicable to lifeline of the driver whenever we define a driver and define implicit weight it will be applicable <coughs> to the whole life of the driver until we quit that right and another thing about uh, implicit weight is uh, it will be applicable only with find element and find elements right since since implicit weight will be applied to only uh, uh, whenever we are dealing with page objects or page uh, web elements so that is only applicable with web find element and find web elements so if if there are some other things uh, which we wanted to wait for like whenever there is uh, when whenever we are not using find element or find elements and we are doing something something else for which we wanted to wait implicit weight will not work right because impl <coughs> implicit weight will be defined to the driver and driver can have find element and find elements right so that is what about implicit weight right so in my next video i will talk about what is explicit weight I'll talk about what is explicit weight, what is fluent weight, and which is the best weight in Selenium web driver. Right. So that's it I have for this video synchronization and one of the type of synchronization which is implicit weight in Selenium web driver. Uh, for more videos and articles, do watch my blog automationtalks.com and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.